I am all in your face right now. Where's the lace? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we got a hair video. This is a wig that was sent to me from ilikehair.com and y'all can't tell me this ain't giving. Y'all cannot tell me this is not giving natural hair, blown out, kinky edges, realistic, and best of all, she is not glued down at all, at all, at all. So, yeah, we got us another banger. If you haven't been able to tell by the smile on my face, I absolutely love this wig. And I'm going to show you how easy it was to plop her on my head because that is all I did. If this is your first time here, I hope you decide to join the family. Please hit that subscribe button. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of your support. We do a lot of hair, a lot of nails, a lot of makeup, a lot of hauls, and some fitness sprinkled in. So if you're into that, you're going to love this channel. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you want to see the details on this gorgeous unit and another easy unit to put on, throw on and go, then stay tuned and keep on watching. It's not that I want you here. Yeah. It's not that I want you so let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Y'all know I get excited about new wigs, especially ones that are glueless, easy to put on, and they look realistic. And I'm pretty sure we have all of that in this package. So this is another collaboration with the brand I Like Hair. You guys saw me do a review of one of their Kinky Edge wigs before, and it's a longer unit. I don't normally wear really long units just because I worry about tangling. And also, I want it to look more realistic. I feel like the longer hair is more glam, but I wanted something more for every day that was easier to maintain. So, they sent me this unit, and I cannot wait to tell you all the details about this one here. So, this is their Short Bob Kinky Edges HD Lace Frontal Blowout Ventilated Wig. This one I'm going to show you today comes in 8 inches. I'm going to also show you the goodies we get because we love free gifts. So you get this little bag and it has the I Like Hair um, Velcro to be able to melt down your lace. You also get a baby hair brush, which I mean, you always need that. Yay, you get some more clips, which is good to pin the hair back. And then you get this barrette, which I don't wear these, but it's nice. Also in this bag, there's more. We have some wig caps, so never have enough of those. We have the adjustable band that you can attach on the inside of the wig, hopefully to wear her glueless, because that's what I want. And you get a rat tail comb. So lots and lots of goodies in this bag. So this is what the wig looks like right here. You can see that it definitely has that kinky straight texture. And I am thinking I'm going to try to wear her. I don't know if I want to curl her like in some little waves or wear her kind of straight with just kind of like what I have here, but it'll be shorter. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But let me show you what the edges of this looks like because this is the star of the show you see the kinky edges right there so this is made to mimic our natural hair texture like if we got a blowout and i just i love it i don't do baby hairs so this is a good way to not have to do that you also get your standard cap construction with the combs here at the back of the lace on the side here and in the back and then you have your adjustable straps. And then you also have your hooks right here for the adjustable band. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this wig off. This is just a half wig that I put a headband over. Not a headband wig. I think this is a great alternative because sometimes headband wigs can be more expensive. Um, but we're going to start... Styling this one, I am 99% sure. I'm gonna do a side part because that's how I like my bobs. I feel like the knots in the front are really, really small. And so I feel like that's going to help it look more realistic. But the key with these are you are not supposed to try to straighten them or lay them down like regular baby hairs. You're supposed to just kind of add some mousse, push them back, and then make it look like your natural hairline. 
So let's go ahead and take this one off and see what we're working with. So this is what she looks like on with no adjustable strap. I just have her on with my wig grip and I need to shift how I have her, which I will do in a second, but oh yeah, this hairline looks nice. I can actually see my wig grip through this, which I wasn't expecting, so I may need to put yeah, this is the perfect everyday length. Yeah, we're going to do this side. So I'm going to start off right now just running this hot brush through the hair to straighten it a little bit to take some of the crinkles out. I don't want to flat iron it because I like the texture, but this is going to kind of help to make it lay a little flatter. So you can see that's working its magic a little bit. So I'm just going to keep doing this. I love how blunt cut this is, and it does look like a true bob. It has that little slant in the front, so feeling pretty, pretty good about this one. So I'm going to finish doing that. I'm going to speed through that, but I just wanted you guys to see, once I get it a little more tame, what this hairline looks like. Y'all can't tell me that looks like I need work. Like, even right here on the sides, you can see I'm going to pull it down a little far how it has this little peak right here, like that matches my hairline. You see how I have that? Same thing. So absolutely love that they try to make this look more realistic instead of not just straight across and round. But I can tell you right now, I'm already feeling like this is very promising. this part I'm slowing down to let you guys know right now I am using my hot comb but I am NOT passing on the hairs in the front this is just to straighten it out and to get it to not be so big but I am NOT passing it on the edges because I want those to stay kinky so do not mess up the texture of your edges by passing your flat iron or your hot comb or any other hot tool on them. I'm strictly keeping this in the hair itself. All right, this is about as flat as I want it. I didn't want it to be too flat. I want it to look like a blowout. It still has some of the texture. I might hit this back here just to straighten it a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how you need to style the edges. So, best recommendation, and I've done this on my other wigs too, is to take a little bit of mousse. This is my lot of body. I will either use this one or if I need help with the front staying down to get a little tacky, I have another mousse that is super sticky and I don't really like using it unless I have something that needs a little more hold. But you just put this in the front on the edges and you brush them back and you give it a chance to dry and that is it. You can use your melting band to help if you want them to lay down even flatter, but if you really just want to have them slicked back a little bit, but still showing their texture, mousse is the best way to go. Look at how good that looks. So I'm just gonna brush the mousse in the front a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the adjustable band in, because like I said, I do wanna wear her glueless since I didn't bleach the knots. I'm going to go ahead and put some foundation in the parting space and on the lace in the front just to make it match my skin tone a little bit more. But y'all, I haven't even cut it yet. And I feel like it's blending pretty well, so I don't feel like I need a lot. Don't you love when they look like that?
think I'm done styling this. Like, yo, this looks so good. I ain't gonna lie, I do wish it had a little more parting space because I feel like I tried to do my little C curve. Maybe I should have took it a little more to the inside, but just... Okay, so I haven't even glued it. I have not glued her down. Y'all saw everything I did. You can see right here, she is disappearing into my skin. I can't believe I haven't even melted her. If I tilt my head back, I still don't feel like it's like super clockable. I do feel like I could add a little more. Yeah, there we go. Yo. It almost looks like it's kind of asymmetrical, like one side's longer than the other. And honestly, I don't know if it's just because I don't have it on straight, but I like how it looks. Like, I feel like I could put this on my mannequin head the night before, make sure it is curled the way I want, and then just plop her on and go in the morning. This wig looks so good. And I'm pretty sure I told you all the specs. I don't think I told you how much it costs. So let me make sure I do that. With the specs that I got, which is eight inches. This is eight inches. This is eight inches. I did not ask for a longer one. They told me they were sending eight inches. So that is what we see right here. And she is $199, regular $263. Plus with my code, and I will have it here on the screen, you get even more money off. So y'all can't tell me. You cannot tell me you don't think this looks good and realistic. I am all in your face right now. Where's the lace? Like my edges, flat, kinky edges, looking like a blowout, not glued down. Oh, I love this. Okay, and let me tell you the rest of the specs. So this is 180% density, 13 by four HD lace, natural black, kinky edges, ventilated hairline. You can dye her if you want. And it says that the cap size is 22 and a half inches. I do feel like I have plenty of room with this cap and your girl has like a 22 and a half, 23 inch circumference. So we're leaning more towards the big head side. We are right with that. We've known this, we've accepted it. And thank you to wig companies for making wigs big enough for us. So let me show you the rest. I didn't do a lot to the back. I hurt my shoulder and it is really hard. I guess I need to curl something back here. Um, it is really hard for me to curl the back of my hair right now. So that's kind of why if you saw me struggling a little bit, just getting back here does not feel comfortable. But you got to make sure this hair is looking good. So beauty is pain. So this is what she looks like. Still has more of the texture in the back because I did not straighten that as much. And then this is the back right here. So she is definitely giving bob. She is giving shorter in the back longer in the front this is the other side here and y'all look at that profile you lean in close so you can see yeah thank you so much again to ilikehair.com for sending me this wig every single time i do a video with them i feel like i am excited i am pleased with what i get i didn't even bleach the knots which i am probably gonna do just to help it look more realistic but Maybe even cut some layers in the front. I don't want to do too much. I want you guys to see what you get straight out of the box. So that's it for this video, y'all. I just, I added a little more bump to the front. I had to because this profile is just, yeah, she needed a little bit more. But anyway, <laughs> that's the end of this video. I just want to keep playing in this hair. Look at the body though. It's so soft. Okay, another win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think. If this is your first video, I hope you decided to join the family. Lots of hair, nails, makeup, all that good stuff with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for sticking with me to the end of the video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.